Yes, we cook everything on the open fire, the flavor, the taste. You can't compare with real wood that we cook down. All the veggies are cooked on the fire, all the fish, all the meat. Really fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so we're about to sit down and have a walkthrough of Sebas, one of the newest farm to table restaurants in Costa Rica. And it's definitely a high priority if you're ever in Costa Rica. It's worth going out of the way and it's one of the best restaurants I've been to. So let me know what you think. When, uh, when did you come here? When did you start? Me, my wife, my baby, we came here almost three years ago. Sold everything in Toronto. Uh, everything. Yeah, from Canada. Had a beautiful restaurant there, had a big following. The name? Called Ama, Argentinian restaurant, supper club. We had that for almost three years. Amazing restaurant, and we decided during COVID that it was time for a change. And we uh, we sold everything and we moved to the jungle. That's yeah. pretty wild, man. When you moved here, you just started straight up. No, no, not at all. You hung out for a while. Yeah, so we had uh, we bought 45 acres in the jungle, raw jungle. We built our home. Completely off grid, solar panel, water from the from the spring. Yeah. We took almost two and a half years to plant 150 fruit trees. So we're planting a lot for the restaurant, and we have a lot more coming every day from papaya, mango, pineapple. Uh, we have so much amazing things that we planted at our house. It was amazing. I was doing private dinners in the jungle for about two years. We had a little bed and breakfast. And then time was like, okay, my baby's older, the plants are in, now it's time for another restaurant. So I found Sebas. We signed the lease October 21st, and we opened December 5th. It's almost a month and a half to open a restaurant, buy equipment, renovate the whole space. We hired 22 people, trained 22 people, created a menu within a month and a half. Yeah, man, we're new. We're brand new. So yeah, I've been here three years. We opened about eight months ago, and we had a lineup for about seven months straight. Now it's a little bit slower during rainy season, but we still have an amazing following. People love organic food. They love open fire cooking. Yeah, I'm bringing them like real fucking amazing food. And better than you eat them. We're looking for best in Costa Rica, so. Well, I got it. We got Elaine here. Hola, que tal? We're making homemade empanadas here. She does everything from pizza, the grill, the pastry, the empanadas. She's a fucking amazing. Here, she's our sous chef, our dessert chef. My eyes, but I'm not here. Creates magic here, and we're so happy that she's here. This has got to be my adopted son, Diego. He didn't know anything. He knew nothing how to cut a tomato. He knew nothing, and now look at him. Now he's on the grill. Now he's in the business. What's up, Luch? Say what's up. This is Lucho. Say hi. He's uh, from Costa Rica. Now he's a pizza chef. One of the best pizza chefs in Costa Rica. You got Pablo here. He's a... He's the captain of the salon, so he's a... He's in charge. He's our waiter. He's got a beautiful outfit today. Costa Rica. Yeah. Our bar manager, Andreas. Straight from San Jose, we brought him in to take care of the bar. Andreas. Jorgito Rodriguez. Yeah, Jorgito. You know Jorge? Yeah, he took care of us. Welcome to Sebas. Thank you for coming. We love you. We we'll see you soon. See, this is a piece that you might have to eat with a knife and a fork. 